The California Air Resources Board voted on Thursday to pass sweeping regulations requiring all new vehicles sold in the most populous U.S. state to be electric or plug-in hybrids by 2035. The new regulation is called Advanced Clean Vehicles 2 and it aims to achieve zero emissions in 35% of new cars sold by 2026. California will ban the sale of gasoline-powered cars after 2035. This move could bring about the end of gasoline-powered vehicles. This decision establishes the world's strictest electric vehicle conversion regulations for the most populous state in the United States. This video takes a closer look at this landmark new regulation. What it means for California. What it means for other U.S. states. What it means for the automotive industry. And, what it means for the future of the United States. But, before we get into that, hit the like button and leave a comment below. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos. California plans to require all new cars, trucks and SUVs to run on electricity or hydrogen by 2035. The state seeks to dramatically reduce carbon emissions and to eventually put an end to gasoline-powered vehicles. The decision comes two years after Governor Gavin Newsom first asked regulators to consider such a policy. If the goal is met, California will cut vehicle emissions in half by 2040. This should encourage other states to follow California's lead in accelerating the production of zero-emission vehicles by automakers. Daniel Sperling, board member and founding director of the UC Davis Transportation Institute, called the vote, the most important and transformative action, in the history of transportation. A fifth of automakers' sales after 2035 could be plug-in hybrids. Plug-in hybrid cars run on battery and gasoline. But, the rest of the new cars sold by automakers must be powered entirely by electricity or hydrogen. By 2026 one-third of all vehicles sold in the state must be zero emissions. Automakers that fail to meet this target could be fined $20,000. About 16% of cars sold in California in the first three months of the year were electric. The Air Board is working on separate emissions rules for motorcycles and diesel trucks. Washington and Massachusetts have said they will follow California's lead. New York and Pennsylvania are among 17 states that have adopted some or all of California's emission standards which are stricter than federal regulations. California's existing emissions regulations have yet to be approved by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. In June, the European Parliament backed a plan to effectively ban the sale of petrol and diesel cars in 27 EU countries by 2035 with Canada allowing the sale of zero-emission vehicles the same year. California climate officials say the state's new policy is the most ambitious in the world, as it sets a benchmark for increased electric vehicle sales over the next 13 years. This will go a long way toward cleaning up California's air and addressing air pollution in the climate change crises we face, Clean Air Coalition's Bill Magavern told sister station KTLA Wednesday. The regulations will help California meet clean air standards by reducing emissions, reducing smog-forming emissions from passenger vehicles by 25% by 2037. The new rules only apply to new vehicle sales and have no impact on existing cars. Gas-powered cars and light trucks can still be legally owned and driven after 2035. The proposal also asks for requirements for warranty, durability, simplified fast charging, powerful charging cables, repair information and battery life. A lot of people are skeptical. They always worry about running out of battery, but there are so many chargers all over the country," said electric vehicle owner Eileen Urich. You press a button on the car and it tells you where the next charging station is, and it takes you there," Urich continued. The new regulations also encourage manufacturers to build low-cost electric vehicles to make them more affordable. It's easy enough for someone with enough wealth, but we need this revolution to benefit everyone and provide clean mobility for all Californians," Climate Action Board member Magarvin said. California already has the largest electric vehicle market in the country. More than 1.1 million electric vehicles registered in the state. This includes 43% of the country's plug-in vehicles. They're going to love them. They're going to love their car very much," Yurik said. If Advanced Clean Cars 2 is approved, it will be submitted to the Federal Environmental Protection Agency for approval. But, what do you think? Please hit the like button and leave a comment below. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos. Please share this video on social media. Thank you for watching.